Hi everybody, Ryan Murphy here. We are looking at PlayStation Plus preview this month. What titles do we have in store on the PS4? Well, I'll, I'll give you a, a rundown, and then we'll jump into each of one, each of them as we as we uh, as we get going here. I did something a little different this uh, this time around. I was going to just cover ones that I thought really needed to be covered, but then I actually this just proves I, I love too many video games. I, I booted into each one, got through the tutorial. And really kind of enjoyed each one for their own little thing. So we are going to continue to look at all four of these titles this month. I'm not saying that we're going to do that every month. There might be some stinkers that I really don't like. Yes, even me, Ryan Murphy, does hate some video games. Well, hate's a strong word. Uh, maybe doesn't like some video Anyways, I'm drifting here. But the titles we're going to be covering on PS4 for the month of September on PlayStation Plus is Zero Drifter, Tesla Grad, Grow Home, and Super Time Force Ultra. All of those, except for Grow Home, are available on other platforms. Uh, mostly v a couple on Vita and a couple on PS3, but we'll run them down. But without further ado, let's start with Zero Drifter. Z Zio Drifter. Zio Drifter. Uh, push option button. I already, like I said, I already started, so I've got some progress going here. Uh, so we're gonna, whoops, I've already done this this little thing. So it kind of were the, the other reason I kind of jumped in here is so so I could kind of look and see what I thought about the levels. So, or not what I thought about the levels, but get an idea of the game. So the way this works is it started off we lost our warp drive and we're presented with a bunch of planets that we can go to and we have to traverse the planets in order to ow in order to get back our warp drive uh, oh okay we have our submarine we got that on the last planet i'm not very good at this Submarine. Little submarine. So how it worked in the first level is I basically just progressed and then got to a boss level. And when I beat the boss, I unlocked uh, a power-up, which was this submarine mode, which has allowed me to go underwater. So if I had come to this level first, I might have actually just been like, huh, I can't do anything here. I guess I need to find some sort of power-up. Actually, what I would have assumed is I, I, I just can't do anything underwater. And I, oh, I died. So... When you die, you you go back to a checkpoint. In this case, was my ship. So we're gonna try that again. And we're you're best not to lose any lives because you need those lives to take on the boss. You want those lives to take on the boss. I don't even need to kill all these things because, from what I can tell, you don't get anything. From for killing enemies, but it's better than accidentally hitting one and losing life, so let's see if we can traverse this. Kill that stupid shellfish thing. Just kind of jump in. This kind of reminds me of part Mega Man and part Metroid. So this one's, this Zeo Drifter is pretty cool. I seem to be doing damage to it. There we go. Uh, okay. Ugh. Keep on trucking. We're gonna keep on trucking. We'll probably come across a boss level first because the first world. Ow! Screw you. There we go. This is probably a boss level here. No. Okay. Some more water. It's a good thing, again, that I unlocked. Just gotta make sure not to get squashed with one of these things. Oh, I see you. Don't you worry. Getting out of here. Oh, man, let's go down and see what we got. Probably... Ugh! Panic! Ow! I have another checkpoint. This may be utter regret coming. Whoop! Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Oh, man. I bet you, this is the point in, in any game where you go down a path and you're like, huh, 
how much you want to bet there is something up there as opposed to down here. And I'm almost dead. Please, checkpoint. No? Another stupid shellfish? Oh, I'm dead. This level is proving to be a little more difficult than the first one. Maybe we'll try a different level. Okay, what are you doing? Ice Planet. Uh, Zero Drifter is available on PS4 and uh, PS Vita. So if you're interested, it feels kind of like a, a rogue, a rogue light, a rogue light. Oof. More water. So maybe that planet that I did, dang, that planet that I did uh, prior to this, literally was. was the tutorial. So this is proving to be a little more difficult. Ow. Although that took two lives, not fair. Okay, okay. This actually appears to be a more difficult level. And I just jumped into that fly. So I'm not very good at Zeo Drifter. Maybe, uh, Maybe that's enough of this game for now. I actually kind of dig it. It reminds me of a cross between Metroid and, like I said, Metroid and Mega Man. It's very old school. It's by an old school uh, developer. They do a lot of titles like this, Renegade Kid. So it's available at PS4, PS Vita. Let's check out the next title. Tesla Grad. This title is a platformer slash puzzler. At first, it was pretty slow, so I'm, again, glad with the new format that I'm actually checking these games out prior to recording, because that the whole gameplay would have been just me running. And then, eventually, you do start to find items that allow you to puzzle solve. So, uh, it's pretty cool. So, as you can see, I've got two items, and each item adds another control mechanism. So, I've got... These will be easier to explain. Gloves will be easier to explain once we get to the mechanics. But I got a little shifting thing here that allows me to to blink. Ah. And uh, Tesla Grad is a PS4, PS3 title. So if you haven't upgraded to next gen, this game is is uh, available to you. So as you can see, that's ah. as you can see, it's pretty cool. So I'm, again, I'm glad it was a title that this was going to be one of those titles. I actually came back to it a couple times. I wasn't going to include it in this video because it felt kind of limited. But this kind of reminds me of what we played last month, uh, Stealth Inc. But this one's a little more intricate. Intri intricate. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. So... You're starting to see like the opposites. When you touch something like that flower, whoops, you're you're sort of affected in a way and you, oh, I, I have my blink. I have to remember to use all the things in my avail availability. So those flowers allow you to sometimes make you hover. I'm gonna try to get that. Oh, I don't know if I can get that. It's gonna be, I'm gonna, hmm, let's see. Let's see if I can get that. And no, I, I can't. Uh, I can't. Ugh, I can't blink down. I wish I could. That thing is probably like some sort of like oh, you get a thing or something. It's a collectible. This is another one of those games that, like Zeo Drifter. This kind of reminds me of uh, Metroid. No, I'm not gonna be able to make it. There's probably some add-on that I need to get that far. So I'm not going to continue to subject you folks to that. So let's see. So here we get to see our gloves. Uh, oh no, those are the X's through that mean I can't means I can't affect it. Oh, see, when you touch those flowers, you're sort of charged, and uh, when you're charged, it's that color you're reflected. So as you can see, there's blue squares there and there's blue squares down there. So that's why I get charged down, uh, and I need to. I need to kind of time it right so I bounce up and hit that red thing because I'm actually going to stick to it. There we are. 
There we go. See? And now when I jump across here, I should fly all the way all the way down. And if I blink, yep, did it. Oh, that was close. So as you can see, it's it's a lot about mobility uh, in this. So we're gonna again, we're gonna touch this blue, and the blue because we're blue and blue, we're gonna we're gonna fly up. Uh, let's see if we can do anything over here. No, nope. but there is something over there. I bet you any money, we gotta get it. Well, we have to go there because as I can see there, the, we that just takes us back to the start of the level. No. Nope. No, no, no. But this should give you a good idea of what to expect in Tesla Grad. I guess I'm Tesla? Or maybe Tesla's son? Oh, come on, Ryan. I don't know. The star was pretty confusing. As you saw in the loading menu, it's it's a it's a father carrying his son, and he ends up like living in a house for a lot of years. And then a mob comes. Did a mob try to kill Tesla? I don't know. I thought it was. Here we go. That's better. We're just gonna progress through this here. No, Ryan, come on. Use your powers, you got it. Use your Tesla powers. There we go. Uh, there. Um, ah, no. So those guys are evil. They touch you, you die. I don't, I don't know. Oh, maybe you can cross that stuff. That's news to me. Last time I tried to do that, I got killed, so. Oh, shoot. Yeah, see, I'm dead. Um, but yeah, this is a quick look at Tesla Grad. I, I kind of dig it. It's a cool little platformer. It's got a neat art style, and I, I recommend checking it out. PS4 and PS3. On to the next title. Here we have Grow Home, this month new for PlayStation Plus. They did a user, a community voted game for PlayStation Plus. Grow Home is a uh, title developed by Ubisoft. It's been out for quite a while, and I'm kind of disappointed in the community for choosing this one. Not because Grow Home isn't great, it's actually really cool. It's just why I give it to Ubisoft. There was a couple other really cool new indie titles that we could have tried out for free. Now that being said, I don't want to just get free games from PlayStation Plus. You, the other ones did go on sale. So we, we had that going for us. Um, I'm just going to continue here. I, again, I, I played a little bit of it just to get a sense. So you're going to see it here. So you play Bud. And the task that you've been given is to land on this planet and get explore it you just have to explore it so exploring means just getting to the top basically you jump as you can see the robot walks very weirdly that's because all the movement is procedurally generated it was kind of this weird tech that they were working on at ubisoft and they applied it to this really neat i am falling really neat indie game that they built and i think it's the same tech they use like the same procedural tech that they're that they use to sort of work on um Assassin's Creed to improve its climbing mechanics. So there's a lot. There's a cool story behind this game. Definitely check it out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm climbing this here plant to help it grow by finding. Well, you'll see in a bit. Those things over on our right. Those things there allow it to. We're gonna. Well, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to spoil it. Oh crap. So I'm just using the shoulder buttons to grab. And as you can see here, it says, oh, you know, you need to grow it. We have one of four to grow. So we're gonna grab onto this. And then it says square to launch it. And you basically just steer it into these like food sources. Feeds the plant and you'll see it grow. <laughs> it grew a bit, trust me. Oh gosh, oh no. So, uh, as you saw there, I fell. And you can push triangle, you can grab these like floaty, floaty flowers, petals, I don't know, to kind of save your graceful fall there. So you can not fall quite as far. So there is an exclamation point over here. Spring leaf, extremely elastic, new growth, interesting. That is interesting. 
And now we're... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fall. These things here are teleporters. Come on now, bud. And you use those to help you get around mechanics because you're going to see here in a bit, but this is a very vertical game. So you're you're always going to want to have these teleporters because if you fall, you'll uh, you'll be able to teleport. I'm just going to refresh my, my flower here. So we'll jump on here and I'll show you here in a bit. So that's your verticality. 2,000 is to get all the way to the top. We are very not that far, so. And you can use that to teleport, but we're not gonna do that. We don't need to do that. But what I will show you is the collection mechanics in this game, which are the, uh, which are these crystals here. And the more crystals you unlock, the more powers you get for Bud. And those are scattered throughout the world, sort of lodged into whatever you're exploring. I'm just gonna keep going. So as you can see, I think, I think, whoa, okay, buddy. Come on now, we can do it. It's a little finicky sometimes, so these exclamation points sort of guide you. Grab the, uh, what did that say? So th again, this is free on Pl PlayStation Plus. Out of all the four games, if you're gonna try one, this is probably the simplest and easiest to get into. So it says, grab the red flower on a star shoot and connect to the energy rock. Grab the red flower on a star shoot. I don't know what that means, but we need to find more, more of those, uh, more of those things to launch. There's one. So see what I mean by that? It's super cool. Just to grab on there so we're gonna we're gonna move this thing along here we gotta find a connection of food so right now I'm steering with with my control stick here and it's not really putting up much of a fight I'm just sort of like slowly guiding it uh, something I didn't do you'll always want to climb these things since you made it this far to see if there's any like crystals up above here so let's see here because again, the crystals give you more power-ups. Uh, from what I remember, I played this on PC, you're gonna get jumping power-ups, you're gonna get uh, camera control power-ups. Ah, see? I bet you I missed a bunch of crystals. Oh, two, wow. I bet you I missed a bunch of crystals on those other ones. So what you do is you just grab them with R1 and pull. Um, what's this? It's an orange. Delicious. Uh, what do you say we... Oof. Jump. Oh, I see another one right there. What we should do is we should go over there and uh, see if we can't can't grab more awesomeness. But this is grown home or grow home. Uh, again, I, I it's addicting, right? It's it's the simple little game where you can just kind of get lost in the timing. Five minutes is not nearly enough to enjoy uh, grow home. You kind of have to give it not a bunch of time, but just just really give it a good shot. It's it's mine, it's kind of, it's a cool relaxing game because you're not stressed, you're not rushing, you're just exploring. There's no danger. It's fun to move around. It's fun to collect stuff. Oh, well, anyways, this is Grow Home, the third PlayStation 4 PS Plus game. I'm just gonna jump to my death here for you guys. This should be fun. Wee! Oh no. Ah, uh, you died. On to the next title. Finally, we're left with the final. Finally, we're left with the final. Well, that's a terrible way of saying it. Anyways, this is Super Ultra Time f Magic Force Awakening. I don't know. It's a cool game. It's a cool game made by Cappy. And it's a PS4 and PS Vita title for PlayStation Plus. Super Time Force Ultra. See, I was close super close uh, I've made it through the tutorial so we don't have to subject you to that again really liking the format here we're gonna skip this so we can get in the action uh, this is a weird sort of shoot 'em up I refuse to call it a shmup even though I just did uh, that's our commander he's telling us what to do and it's a really cool concept rather than just trying to like run around and dodge bullets it actually doesn't punish you for dying 
collecting things is good. We're gonna take out these bad guys. I'm pushing square to attack. Oh, I died. Oh, uh, no. So if I push circle, I can actually come back and save him. Oh, man. And then I died there. So, uh, again, it's really weird. So the more times you die... Now, you do have a penalty. There are only 30 timeouts you can do, which is what I'm doing now. And you can bring back your guy. Oh, man, oh, man. Don't worry, I'll get the hang of this. Or I'll keep dying. Wow. And when you collect your guys that, that passed away, you actually combine your forces. So as you can see, I'm hold, I hold the square button down to do a super move. And that actually does triggers all the super moves that I have. So for all different characters, including my sniper, which is just a see-through attack uh, option. So as I'm underneath here, I can actually use my sniper to kill him. Oh, no. This is uh, significantly harder than I thought. Okay, Ryan, come on now. I'm not good at shmups, everybody. That, that guy has a shield. My old pal Jeff was up ahead. We were in abandoned college. Those were the days. Jeff would make a great addition to the team as long as he doesn't get killed by a huge blow nut or something. Oops. So we're gonna try to we're gonna use our uh, person who can shoot through walls to save Jeff. Come on there or not. So he died, so again we I guess we had to shoot down that wall, which we're gonna we're gonna come back as our super cool dude here and just hammer into this wall. Fudge McNuggets, okay. Evidently, we are doomed. Doomed to forever watch Jeff die. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to come up with as many different combinations so I can actually kill this stupid thing. So we're going to go all the way back. No, we want to we go stay ahead of these guys here. I want to... I want to try to destroy this wall before that thing comes down. Not close enough. Maybe I can get on the other side and shield him? I don't know, but this is not going over well. No, Jeff, Jeff is dead. We need to be able to get that door knocked down. We did it! We saved Jeff Leopard! Rescued! Oh yeah! So what I'm collecting there is actually slowing down time, but I need to actually save my dudes so I can... So now I have extra dudes. Not very good at this game, guys. Oh, let's bring Jeff in. Jeff Leopard. Ugh. Jeff Leopard's terrible. This is a hard game. This is a hard game, everybody. Let's at least try to beat this level before we stop. So as you can see, I'm using my shield to reflect. I can actually... Oh, what was that? 
Looker, we are the lookers. We look all through time and space for beings cool enough to hang with us. You guys seem pretty cool. You have found our residue. It is the key to finding us. We existed here in the past. Hurry, and maybe we can be pals. Alright. Oh, we're all here. Whoa, super duper boss time! Dr. Infinity. Greetings, Super Slime Force. Tis I, Dr. Infinity, leader of the Blunbot. Blen Peacekeeping army. I've come to teach you Mr. Morones a science lesson. Time is a bull. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. What? Oh. Is that supposed to happen? Gah. Owies. I think, I think my skins are splintered. My shins are splintered. Hmm, I must not have calibrated those cannons correctly. No matter, time to die. Seriously? Like, really, really? Jeez. Regroup, regroup! Alright. He calls himself a leader. That dork couldn't lead a pack of lemmings. This is almost too easy so far. We did it. Mission complete, everybody! We did terrible, though, as you can see. I don't know what those other medals are, but we certainly did not earn them. But we did unlock Jeff Leopard. That makes me happy. So what's this? Oh, we're actually seeing... We're actually seeing a replay of what we did. That's pretty interesting. Anyways, this is Super Time Force Ultra on PS4. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm not very good at it, but hey, you should give it a shot. It's free with PlayStation Plus. It's made by uh, a Canadian group out of Toronto, Cappy. They're awesome people. I highly suggest checking it out. This has been PlayStation Plus Preview for September. I'm Ryan Murphy. You can follow me on Twitter at rmurphy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ryanmurphyca. And definitely check out gamersinpodcast.com where we talk about all kinds of video games. Like these, like Super Mario Maker, like Until Dawn. That's what we've been doing lately. If you enjoy these PlayStation Plus previews, let me know if you like the new format where I sort of check them out a little bit and then come in and play them. Or if you'd rather maybe be focused on one title at a time, put out smaller videos, like one video per game, let me know. If, if you don't let me know, I'm just going to keep doing what I think I enjoy doing, which is checking out all these games. So thanks for watching and keep being awesome. Have a great week.